All right, my computer might possibly explode today. I have the World War Simulator set up with almost 4,000 villages. That means that all of these little dots are officially playing in the game. Some places are a bit more insane than others, as you can see. To be exact here, there are 3,907 places on the map. And as they grow in their certain spot and begin to eat up all of their surrounding neighbors, I'll change their name to reflect on which country they've grown into. So, for instance, whoever comes out of this continent will be Australia, obviously. And of course, we have... China here, Korea here, Japan here, it's gonna get crazy. Honestly, my computer's like running at 15 frames a second, I think, right now. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the speed, because I already know I can't handle anything more than this. What's gonna be especially insane is that, uh, the waters are just, you can just invade through them. There's no, like, waterways or anything like that. Okay, I'm hoping this is gonna be, like, the worst part. Okay, we haven't even gotten all the Atlantic. We already have our first alliance that's broken out. Hey, you guys aren't even really neighbors. Where are you guys coming from? Uh, north of Iran? I'm so afraid to see, like, exactly what this, uh, notification notification bar is gonna look like. So basically, if you're a coastal nation, you're gonna be looking like pretty good, but that's not a guarantee you're gonna survive at all. You actually just have more neighbors that can declare war on you. It's not like the ocean is giving you that much extra stuff. Oh good, we already have our first couple places destroyed. We're gonna need a lot more than just two though. Okay, so someone in South America has grown and another one somewhere in Siberian Russia. There are some alliances, but obviously I can't really tell what's going on here. Yeah, I don't even know if I'd want to be one of these nations that's just on the coast with all this sea territory. Wait, who is this? Oh, I thought there'd be like a random island out here. This guy just got so much. It's a huge chunk. Okay, good, good. We are seeing several nations collapse already, but um, again, we need like 4,000 to die. Maybe 3,000, and I'll be able to actually run this game faster. I will say, it definitely looks kind of beautiful out there. I'm hoping these peace deals, okay, these peace deals are people being conquered. Good. What a fantastic map. I don't even know if I want to look at this. Look at all the aliasing that's going on. Yeah, we don't even need you to form alliances at this point. Don't, don't do that. Is there even a single alliance in North America? I think there's one single single alliance here in Canada for some reason. Okay, I'm actually afraid to see what happens when I open up the statistics bar. I don't think- Oh, okay, it did load. It did load. Okay, I thought it was gonna crash. Technically, the biggest place on Earth is coming out of Canada. That shouldn't be surprising. Canada has a lot of land up here. The next biggest place is actually, like, in modern-day Argentina. Am I able to go to gold? I don't- Yeah, we can, we can open up gold. Of course, the biggest places uh, have- Actually, a lot of the rich places are in Canada right now. I'm just gonna immediately take out revolts because we really do not need revolts right now. Now. The last thing I need is for a thousand nations to die and then 500 nations to regain their freedom. <laughs> this is gonna go on forever. Oh boy, this is getting a little bit scary. Okay, we can zoom in and see as everyone is ticking up their gold. I actually don't even know if I can run the game at this point because, okay, it, we've gone down to like one frame a second. Why though? It shouldn't it be getting better. If I lower the, what if we don't need to see who's dying or not? All right, luckily if I zoom all the way in and then let the game tick by, uh, it can run a little bit faster. We just really don't need animations right now. Am I even able to, like, lower things? The resolution? Maybe that would help it run. Nah, who cares? Let's just go with it. I really can't wait to see, like, some U.S. states start to be born. Wow, we're getting thrown all over the place now. Let me just see if I can even run this at, like, full speed. Let's, uh, hey, actually, it is running at three times the speed. See if we can, like, click on a place. Oh, okay, good. We can click on a place. Okay, maybe I actually do just need to run this at three speed and just have as many people die as possible or get as alliances as possible. Wait, how many alliances? Is there a max alliance? Please tell me that there's a max alliance. Yeah, okay, it's, it's set to four. Good. We really don't even, I don't even know if you should be allowed to do that. I guess I'll keep it at four, but I, I really want to bring it down a little bit. We're already 200 years into this chaotic world. Uh, I, I think people are not surviving. <laughs> you know, people are definitely being destroyed, that's for sure. I just, I don't know who it, it is. Don't even show me alliances anymore. I just want to see who's conquering who. So the places that are doing well in Canada, that's really good news. I mean, Canada, whoever comes out of it, has a big advantage because they are, like, obviously in the corner of the map. If I can pull up the map, I actually can see, like, pretty big alliances in there, kind of. This literally looks like just veins running up the water. I haven't even talked about the chaos. It looks like it's happening in New Zealand. And we basically have like another Civil War Shogun period, I guess, in Japan. Is it good or bad that these villages are starting to get like thousands and thousands of gold, basically? I feel like if they get too much, that could be an issue. I really like the way Greenland is done here. Like, most of it is just a wasteland. It is kind of hard to fit millions of people in Greenland. That's realistic. It kind of looks like South America is cleaning itself up first. There's just a lot less dots there than like, obviously, in all of Eurasia. That's gonna be huge for this continent if there's, you know, like, three giant powers here. Then they can just eat up everywhere else, like Africa and the Americas, the rest of the Americas. Okay, believe it or not, I do feel like the game is running a little bit more 
more smoothly. I mean, don't mind that we're still at like one frame a second. I wonder where most people are getting killed. Is it in Canada? Definitely in Siberia and Russia. There's a lot of things to do over here. A lot of cleaning up to do. I just want the Middle East. Why are there so many villages specifically in the Middle East? I can't even zoom in enough to see like what is going on. Like what are these village names at all? I don't even know what the gold they have is. More and more alliances are forming. They're really going to have to use like this. Some of these alliances are going to be really hard to keep track of because there's probably only like 12 colors here. Maybe less than that, seven. But if they only have alliances of four or less, then yeah, the colors are being repeated a lot. I actually cannot bring up the statistics panel because uh, for some reason the game runs really bad after that. So I'm just not going to do that again. I feel like less sea territory maybe would have been better for my computer at least. There are way too many just like white uh, birds that I'm seeing. That means that they're piecing out and they're not killing each other. You guys got to die. I need less of you. I forgot we have this nation counter. So I think we've taken out like uh, 200 so far. Not even that. I'm just going to remove alliances for now. We'll bring it back later, but there's no reason you should be having alliances. Like this is like early humans, like hunter gatherer civilizations out here. Like you guys shouldn't be able to talk to anyone. All you know is kill. Establishing a core is going to be horrible here. You can't just like take the land. They got to make cores. That's going to be really tough for these villages. I feel like that nation number is ticking down a little bit faster now that there aren't alliances, but not fast enough because we're on year 1500 already. Well, almost. Hold on. Okay, now, now we are. Really wish I could just like launch an asteroid right now to take off like part of the world. A lot of places in Europe with like under 10,000 gold right now, but I did see there are people in Canada with over 10,000 gold, specifically some of the largest nations on Earth, which actually shouldn't be surprising. But I think the place with the most hope, that's South America, uh, they all have like maybe more than 10,000. There's got to be someone with like 20,000, right? Maybe nobody exactly at 20,000 just yet. I mean, gold does not signify a, a whole lot. You just survive more wars and things like that. Yeah, the Caribbean is definitely a problem. Just, uh, there we go. Give me more of those skulls. I want to see more skulls. I gotta assume that, like, just less nations might allow more nations to kill other nations. Does that make any sense? If we zoom in enough here, it'd be really hard for this nation to attack these guys, because there's only, you have to just drive through one pixel. That wouldn't be easy. They could go, like, 300 status on you and just stop you at, in, like, a, a mountainy terrain area. Does that make any sense? One could have way larger of an army, but if you're only fighting in like a one by one meter square, that's going to be an issue. There's actually a big enough war going on that I can see it from like way zoomed out, and that's because they have a bunch of sea territory. Is this a wombo combo? What exactly is happening here? Oh, well, they pieced out anyways. Oh, do we still have alliances technically? You just can't form new alliances now? Basically, everyone that didn't form into an alliance, they're just screwed. Well, that kind of sucks. I mean, I guess I'll bring it back. You could technically like alliance your way into the country or uh, like into a country like we almost have Morocco here they're very close oh no the Moroccan alliance is beginning to die a little bit I mean there's still two more members of that but oh that's a lot of sea territory getting eaten up look at this nation out of Madagascar they got a huge chunk here too that's great they're blue like the sea I'm not gonna be able to see them at all zooming out it looks like now South America and Africa have significantly less villages or civilizations on them whatever you want to call it meanwhile North America Europe and Asia specifically in the Middle East still chaos a big enough power can come in and clean a lot of this stuff up, but we still need that big enough power. We have ridded about 500 nations by now, so that's some good news. Oh, and we have an African nation versus a South American nation. They were fighting for more Atlantic uh, sea territory, but nothing really changed. I wonder if that's going to continue to play out a little bit more here. Sea wars, basically. There's really no point in changing any of these villages' names just yet, because they'll probably die like a second later. Could probably come up with like some microstates in Europe right now, though. For instance, we definitely have Andorra here, that's for sure. Maybe like the Vatican or something here in Rome. Seems like a lot of nations inside of Europe have jumped up onto the 20,000 gold train. Again, you can have significantly less gold if you're getting yourself into a lot of different wars, so I don't know why I'm using that metric to see how big places are getting. I guess we can still kind of get a bird's eye view of how certain areas are. For instance, uh, South America is significantly ahead. There's a lot more nations here with 30,000, even 40,000 almost. It's specifically in the Amazon rainforest, it seems. Big sea nation just lost lost a bunch of territory right now. It's like the one thing that I can actually spot when like a sea nation goes down. Love this little like slim, love this like slim, oh it's gone, dang it. <laughs> 
This village's name is Lo. Well, I guess these guys are wolf, but they got taken out. There's actually only nine nations that remain on the massive island of Madagascar, so that's kind of good news. Certain places are beginning to form. Meanwhile, there is 16 on the New Zealand islands, the South Island a bit more compacted. I'm actually afraid when the entire world allies to each other, um, but the alliance map mode is going to look kind of beautiful. It's mostly the nations with the sea territory that are really showing up. We're now finally below 3,000 nations on the map. That feels better. I do feel like things are looking a little bit better here. I'm now probably at like two frames a second. Big old place up here. I don't even know who had this. Was it somebody from these Norwegian islands? But yeah, a lot of the new sea territory getting picked up. Look at this nation with their weird like boomerang sea territory. Weird that after like 6,000 years, there's a lot of nations that just refuse to get into an alliance. Although a lot of the world has gotten at least some sort of team built up, their own equivalent of the Avengers. I think more people or maybe about 50% of the uh, nations are on a team. A lot of states or villages in Mexico moving up into California, I think, or I guess the USA. Uh, there's maybe more room over there. Mexico's really smashed into Mexico, uh, although California has certainly a lot of cities. We almost have Michigan and Wisconsin here, but again, I'm afraid to name them because uh, they're probably going to be taken out. It's probably a bad luck charm. I just realized that like all the cities that they take over, there's going to be a dot here. Like, can you like choose to blow up the cities. If you take over another person's city, just blow it up, please. Nuke it. We can't have all these cities running around. I can actually zoom in properly if I go down to 0.5 speed. Uh, at all the other speeds, the camera just gets thrown way far back or way too up close. Luckily, I can now kind of see shapes, and I definitely like this nation because of just their weird, you know, sea territory. Also, they're right here in the corner of Brazil. Very recognizable. Oh man, that is so Panama. I, we basically have Panama here. The yellow bay, that's perfect. You even have the color too. That's a little bit too perfect. I don't even know if I want to change that just yet. Like how Central America is like literally just Central America. There's there's no differences here. I'm now seeing how alliances can actually be a very bad thing. We we probably don't want any alliances because you're kind of locking the person down. This guy maybe would want to kill Green Pot, but he doesn't want to right now because they're friends. I should have turned off alliances. Oh yeah, we're now down to less than 2,500 nations. Only took 7,500 years. I definitely like this nation down here at the very tip. Oh, that's actually two different nations. I thought it was just one. Their colors are so similar. Regardless, I still like this country, although, man, their capitals. Look at how close these capitals are to each other. I was gonna say maybe my money would be on him because South America does look better than all the other continents. There's just a lot less villages here right now. But I don't want to say anything too early. That guy's a little bit still too small, but it's nice that he's cornered off like that. Has Madagascar changed at all? I think they still have like eight cities here. I mean, I can see where some of the places got taken over. What is even that? Oh, this guy's got an enclave. He just went around this dude. I mean, that's to do with maybe the most land or sea territory in the game. Question is, is this Canadian province still technically winning? It, he might. I mean, I don't really see anything that comes close. Do we have a Florida yet? Yeah, we're probably not going to have a Florida. There's just too many dots going on right here. You have taken about half of the people, though, that have been there over time. Makes sense because we are approaching that 2,000 nations mark. Love the people that are just like on these islands of the Mediterranean. We basically, oh, Sicily is basically at war and they died. Okay, that's, that's a first. All right, well, maybe that's like good news. I'm able to focus on countries and then they die right in front of me. Maybe we're making progress. I love accurate maps that, you know, actually put the Himalayans here, but um, I think we need, like, everyone to kill everyone as fast as possible. I would have liked um, non-realistic things in this map. I don't know. This dude grabbed the Azor Islands uh, from Portugal, and then that's it. I turned back off alliances. It seems like there hasn't been much progress made on getting rid of all the alliances. I mean, more than likely, we're not going to be able to get all of the alliances away. I feel like I don't know. I really want to say that things would have moved faster if they don't have a team. Some people are definitely just trapping themselves. That's the issue. At the end of the day, wow, look at all these cities. There have been so many places that have been taken over. Obviously, if it's a white dot, it's been taken over. That could be another issue here. Really driving that game, just the game a whole lot slower. Kind of feel like, how do you not, as these guys, take over your neighbor or vice versa? Like, you have to walk two meters to get to his home base. I mean, not even two meters. It's just one pixel. All you have to do is take over one pixel. One of you. One of you. What are you doing? You're a failure. That's what you are. It might be really difficult. I don't know if the economies can keep up. Maybe that's the problem. Love zooming out and just seeing the random icons popping up all around the world. Doesn't, I mean, I guess certain areas are getting more icons than others because more are like densely packed. A lot of it is just like, I, I don't even know, conquer. I guess it's just conquering or peace deals. A lot of these guys are just piecing out before they actually make the conquer. And there we go. We have finally reached 
reached the under 2,000 nations mark. It's about time. We haven't technically killed 2,000 nations yet, but we're about to. Look at this almost alliance chain here. Wait, is that the same alliance? Oh, they're... Oh, okay, never mind. I can actually see there is a little bit of a color difference. Okay. And we've also made it to year 10,000. There we go. Just as we do, we have taken out 1,000, 2,000 nations exactly. One, wait, one more. There's definitely less nations getting taken out. Man, those first couple seconds is like boom, 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 boom. This world is insanely bloody. I imagine there's probably just like blood leaking out everywhere. I don't even know what that means. But just to see all the conquered places. These nations probably have too many cities, honestly, to manage. Do they have to build cores in every single one of these places? That would not be fun. All right, I'm afraid to do this, but here we go. Let's see if I can somehow bring up the statistics panel. This is probably going to crash my game. All right. Oh, wow. Okay, it actually, it went faster than last time. The biggest place is actually in Africa, right here, just below the Sahara Desert. What is this, like, uh, kind of Nigeria, the northern part. White corner. So the nation I thought was the biggest, this one, it, it's not. This is the second place nation. This place is just literally named East. They've got one friend. And there's Red Haven, a fourth place nation in Canada. And finally, the other one. Oh, so this these guys dropped down to fifth. I mean, they really haven't done anything this entire time. Did you even conquer anyone? Without conquering anyone, they've remained in the top five biggest nations on Earth. That's crazy. Ah, I like this. There's max area versus... Wait, area. So does area include sea territories then? No, because this would be a totally different map in that sense. And the nation with the most gold, almost 200,000 gold. Have you even done anything with that? What What are you even doing? What's been going on in Alaska this whole time? Oh, surprisingly, I can actually run the statistics panel and still play the game afterwards. That did not happen last time. Let me know if you'd like me to come back to this one day and simulate until there's only one nation left by subscribing. Maybe I'll do it in the future. Big thanks to my patrons. I have cloned Drew and I'm now training him to fight the imposter doing these Subscribe. videos. Subscribe to Drew John now. Denver. Australia is I am real. I am not a pain. A fat, no normal, normal. Argentinian Chase grandpa. Henson. Amateur archaeologist. Inquisitor. Jerry's no is this girl. Lugs and Patrick Lugs and Robert. The Polish Lithuanian comic. The Mexican. And why am I doing this?